Emirati heritage is my identity. I mean, it's been amazing to see the transformation that the UAE has gone through in the last 20 years, to see it come up, to see it transform. And to me, a very important and, and meaningful part of it was to see how the leadership of the country has really pushed forward women to be integrated into not only society, but into the workforce, into ambitious positions, into leadership, uh, and into the next generation of uh, people that will take this country forward. Joining the family business was a very natural path for me, for my brothers. We've been integrated into the family business from a very young age. We've grown up learning about it, being in the office, hearing our father talk so passionately about it. So it was the next natural step after graduating from university, from my master's, coming back to Dubai. Uh, it was an immediate and natural kind of next step for me and, uh, and it happened very quickly and, uh, and the growth happened very quickly and Dubai's market took off and we took off with it and, and we're very happy to be where we are today. A typical day in my life is not easy to describe. Um, obviously I have my role at the company, I'm also a new mom of two, uh, but in my role as managing director every day is different. I handle more than 11 departments and every day is some new obstacle or some new path or journey that we need to accomplish. Uh, every day it's between the development of what's our next project to our current sales to our current possible issue with something or you know employees needing to be guided on certain things or setting the strategy for our international plan. So to describe a typical day is very difficult. I don't think any day is the same as the previous and I think that's what makes it and keeps it interesting. So advice I'd give to young women starting out in their career is to be confident, not to feel like they're any less because they are a woman. And I see that a lot with women. Um, they start in roles that they're totally capable of doing, that they've been educated to do, that they have the capacity to do, but it's just their own confidence and self-consciousness that holds them back. So the biggest advice I'd give is stand your ground. Don't feel like you don't belong there. Don't allow people to treat you like you don't belong there. Mm -hmm.